Hello everyone and welcome to what is perhaps the most unusual looking desktop in Linux. A three-dimensional desktop created by Sun Microsystems and it is called Project Looking Glass. It was created between 2003 to 2007 and uses Java 3D for the desktop environment. If you're looking at the movement of the mouse here, it looks terrible. It's slow, it's unresponsive. So yeah, I've had to look at this in VirtualBox. I honestly tried my absolute best to get it going on a live system, but unfortunately it is so old. It seems to get stuck at searching for USB devices at startup, which to be honest is probably understandable. Looking at the kernel version, it is 2.6.16 from 2006 in Linux Slacks. Hmm, what advancement has happened since 2006? Ah oh yes, USB version 3 came out in the kernel in 2008. So basically my hardware is too new. My system dates from about 2010. Too new for the kernel to be able to handle. It wouldn't even work at all under a USB boot disk, so I burnt the system to a CD, which then got stuck at boot up. Running under Kimu was abysmal, and running under VirtualBox is uh, near enough abysmal. The mouse is too sensitive, so I can't control it very well. When you hover the mouse over the application, it is completely opaque. When you move away, it goes partially transparent, so you can see the applications in the background. You have the option of moving the applications to the side of the screen using those little arrows next to the close, minimize, and maximize buttons. Hovering over the applications on the side rotates them slightly and then clicking on them should bring them back into focus. He says, it is terribly slow. But if that doesn't work, there is an application to switch over at the bottom of the screen. So there we go, brings that back into focus. So how much memory is this using? Actually, not very much. 120 meg of RAM, of which overall there is 267 meg of RAM in use. It seems pretty low for a three-dimensional system, but uh, as you can see, it's not exactly a high resolution. I know it appears to be 1080, uh, but the picture is so fuzzy, I would say that's uh, well, closer to 800 by 600, perhaps? Xorg's using a horrific amount of CPU there. 99%? <laughs> no wonder I can't do anything. And Java is using around 1.3%. So the application launcher is a very standard style, really. Comes with a few games pre-installed on the system. I couldn't get any of them working. It seems like the applications just stopped working after a little while. I think it's an issue with the emulation, really, rather than the system itself. Very basic, really. There's no searcher here. It appears the focus was aimed at graphics more than usability. Looking under utilities, it shows the clock as the actual clock on the icon. Open that up. Very fancy. There's a 3D file manager. Ooh. Honestly, I can't think of a more awkward way to navigate a system, really. In fact, I can't even get it working. It seems to just be stuck moving the applications around the screen. I might have to do another reboot, I think. Moving the mouse to the top left-hand side brings up an overlay of the folder of the desktop. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that one. Oh, I didn't mean to open that. You know, I think what's painful with this is it didn't seem to accept any keyboard shortcuts, like a standard Alt and F4 to close an application. Now, normally it wouldn't be so bad if you had proper mouse responsiveness, but just don't. So I'm going to try this file manager again. So I've got the most chance of this working now, so let's go for opt. Maybe there's something in there. How does it work? I'm clicking on the folder. It's a file manager. You li how can a file manager be this complicated? If I move it to the side, does it do anything? At least right-clicking on the application at the bottom there closes it. I've worked that shortcut out. Oh, God. I saw a presentation where if you spun the application around, you could write notes on the back of it. Can't fathom out how to do that. It's too complicated. Let's try this other file manager. Wonder how complicated this is. Uh, open up lib. Okay, I've got the files open, but how do I read that? You've overlaid to the previous screen, and because of the transparency effect, <laughs> you can see both of them. Oh my life. Why did I review this desktop? Okay, if I move it to the side, I can see it. I think both your file managers are a bit too complicated to use. 
On the right hand side we have a button to exit, that was the Jolly Roger flag. I've never seen the Jolly Roger used as an exit button before. What is this, a picture viewer? I mean this was ambitious in the early 2000s. Am I looking at a desktop wallpaper switcher or an image viewer? Okay, it's a desktop wallpaper switcher. Okay. They're such low resolution, these pictures. So, yeah, again, this sort of goes back to me thinking this is more like an 800 by 600 screen. There's so many artifacts in that plant now on the right hand side. I'd love to move the mouse to point to it, but I'm just trying to close the damn thing. Oh, there we go. Oh, dear. I wish I could have got this going on a proper system. Okay, I don't want to look at any further on this desktop. It is so painfully slow to use, and you're going to see an abridged version, so it'll look nice and simple. I think I can guess why this didn't take off. Too much focus on graphics, not enough focus on usability. So that was a look at Project Looking Glass. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.